Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I want to give a quick overview of the Auto Ingenuity product here with the uh, more of a late model truck so, or car. So this is a 2015 Chevrolet Camaro and as you can see we're already connected to it. I've taken the liberty of waiting until we were connected and scanning because it does take a while. There are over tens of thousands of sensors that could possibly be beyond the vehicle plus all the different codes that could be on there as well. So as we go through this, you'll see there's the transmission module, there's the power steering module, there's the code that's on it. And as I go down here, you'll see this one, it'll tell you the status of the codes. So this one was a history code, te test failed since code cleared. And we can go down here and just get a view of all the different ECUs that are now on today's modern cars. And again, there is another code and another one. So that's the quick intro on the, on the DTC tab. If I click down here in actuations, you will see there are a whole bunch of different commands you can run on the vehicle. So I will, let me try to change this column width a little bit so everyone can kind of see everything a little bit better. And I'll just scroll through this real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what you can possibly do on this vehicle. All right, so it looks like we have some cooling fans. We're into the cylinder commands in here as well so we can enable or disable injectors to see which ones are failing. And as we get through this, um, we got some other commands, engine speed control, EVAP commands, some more of our sensor commands, and so on and so on. So there's a ton of different functionality available and things we can do on this particular Camaro. If I go over my live data meter tab, this is where you can select whatever you want to watch. So I just pick this arrow here and we'll go all the way back up to the top and pick something different. So let's try the five volt reference one and it'll give us the live data of what's going on with the vehicle. You can see our engines out there running right now, our MAF sensors bouncing around a little bit. Our live data graphs, here you're able to monitor up to five different, uh, sorry, four different sensors at the same time, graph them together, kind of get an idea of what they're doing. And again, this one here is another live data graph, but just in a larger format. Our live data grid, this is where you can view all the live sensors on the vehicle. So right now we only have three of them selected. If I click this little box here, this will literally pull every single available sensor up and give us some nice charts and graphs on what's going on with all the different sensors in the vehicle. And as you can see, there are quite a few of them. The O2 sensors, there's a specific tab built for these. And if we had any data in here, it would report. The test onboard systems, this is where we'll find some other commands as well. So in here, there's an empty fuel tank command. Uh, this feature will cycle the pump. You know, it tells you exactly what it's going to do. And the crankshaft position variation learn command. So again, always important to read the notes. If we ever wanted to start it, what we would do is hit the initiate command, and we would follow the prompts below. Onboard test results. So the results shown are from the previous time we connected this vehicle. So right now it's going through and retrieving everything as well. You'll see it'll give you some values along with the min and maxes, unit measurements, and go through and tell you what's going on with it. If we had any incompletes here, we would know kind of where to go to help look at an issue. So very quickly, that was coverage on a 2015 Chevrolet Camaro. Thank you for watching.